Hi everyone and welcome to the first Monday Night Stamping in November. Yes, it's November the 4th, 2024 and we are kicking off a new month. So I'm excited to be here um, and this for those of you who are new, my name is Lillian and with Stamper's Niche and I'm an independent Stamping Up demonstrator coming to you from Alberta, Canada and this is a place where we not only create, but we chat and connect with each other and we uh, we have a great little community here. So do make sure you say hi and let us know you're here and um, give a thumbs up or, or something, some way of letting us know that you are here. So we had a pretty nice morning here. It started to cloud over this afternoon, but it's all been good and we still have not had very much of the white stuff at all. So um, that is great. Now, there was a time change this weekend and I've gone through a few time changes in the last couple of weeks. For some reason, I woke up at 4 a.m. this morning and couldn't go back to sleep, which is unusual for me. My husband, not so much, but for me. Um, fortunately, he is a napper, but I am not. Uh, and then we were busy this afternoon, so if I'm a little groggy tonight, I'm sorry. I will try to get my act together here. So there's a question for you. Are you someone who enjoys a nap when you need one? Or do you tend not to have one? Um, I'm very much, I only have one. Usually I'm really either extremely tired or I'm sick if I have a nap. I might rest for a bit, but I don't tend to nap a whole lot. So are you a napper or not a napper? Let us know in the comments just as we're getting set up here. And um, here we go. I'm going to be able to see you in a minute. There we go. So, oh, already we've got people joining on. Excellent. And hello, Catherine. So good to have you here. So, and Joan, I see, is watching. Excellent. So let us know about, um, just say hello, or whether you're a napper, or whatever. Just a way of, of letting people know you're here. And tonight, we are going to be looking at the One of a Kind bundle. Now, this bundle is one that I hummed and hawed about getting and then I got it and I have just enjoyed it so 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 much. Um, part of it was like oh we, we have uh, you know we have I have other snowflake stamp sets and then there is the one on page uh, 50 so these are the two that I did the this or that on Saturday this one here I was really tempted with that and I couldn't decide whether to get this one or that one. I came very close to getting both, actually. Um, and if I hadn't been out knowing I was going to be away so much this fall, I likely would have. But um, this is the one we're going to play with tonight. So um, just hang in there with me. And how many of you have one of these sets? Do you have the one of a kind bundle? Or oh, I keep never turning quite enough pages. Or frozen edges bundle? Or which do you like? A lot of you let me know that, but maybe we can share that from here. So glad to see so many of you hopping on. I'm going to talk about things that are happening in the Stamping Up world as we go along, but we're going to get started. Um, and let's just look at the bundle first off. So the bundle has the stamp set, and you'll notice the stamp set does have one that works for Christmas, but everything else is not necessarily Christmas. It could be all kinds of different things. So tonight I'm going to use this stamp set and make it um, a get well card. So that, that's that. The other thing is it's got the to and from on it, um, which is great for tags. We can never have too many of that. And I always love a few little snowflakes and some background stamps. So that is the stamp. And then we have this like a mini little set of dies, just two dies. So this big one you can use on its own or you can use it to cut out that big snowflake. And then we've got the little one here that's more intricate. So I'll just show you my get acquainted sheet. It's pretty easy to make this one. So you can stamp and cut it out or you can have it just white. And then you've got this one and this one layers beautifully on top as well. So it can lay on, layer on just the, the blank one or this one here. So um, 
that's there's 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 getting acquainted a little bit with these right here they also play really well together with other things so for example we have the white loose snowflake embellishments so these little snowflakes they make great shaker cards but they also just with a little dab of the multi-purpose liquid glue you can fasten them as as embellishments on a card i've been using them a ton um Catherine, you feel worse after nap. Same here. I think I sleep too long or too soundly. Does somebody else feel badly after a nap too? Yeah, it takes me half the half of the rest of the day to wake up. Anyway, so that plays well with this set. Also, one that's an embossing folder we've had for a year or so maybe two years is the Snowflake Sky 3D embossing folder. We're going to use that tonight. Let me just see. I need to put some white paper behind there so you can see the design. But you can see that it has the snowflakes behind uh, and they look like they're falling. So there's that. And then we have this, this from the annual catalog, Sparkling Snowflakes. So we could mix and match them together. Um, and this is what, one of the reasons why I almost didn't get this bundle, but I did. And in a pinch, this will cut out these. It's You have to be a little bit finicky, but they will work on that as well. So they, they really play well together. So let's um, tuck these out of the way and bring in the card we're going to make tonight. So we're going to cut piece of cardstock and we're going to cut it in half at four and a quarter so it's four and a quarter by 11 and I'm trying to remember if I grabbed regular or thick I doesn't feel like thick to me I think I grabbed the wrong thing glad I caught that I love to make my card with thick basic white so we're going to cut this at four and a quarter like that now, if I was making more than one of these, I would do my scoring first, just back up a little bit. I would score first, and then when I cut, both cards would be all ready to go. But I only want one tonight, so I'm going to cut it at four and a quarter. Move that one out of the way. And then we're going to score it at five and a half and eight and a quarter. So... Lift this up so we're scored at five and a half, which is halfway mark. Right there. Make sure I've got the scoring tool. Five and a half. And then we're going to score it at eight and a quarter. And what that is, is it's halfway between these two, the last score line and the edge of the paper. So there we've got our scoring done. And why don't we just fold it right now? So this is a fun fold card we're making tonight. So it's for a, a friend who's not doing so well, having surgery, that kind of thing, and not looking forward to it. So I'm just doing a regular sort of a Z fold. So it's folded in half, and then the front side is folded back in half again to make that Z. All right. So we've got that. Whoops. And then we're going to bring in some other pieces. We're going to bring in some basic white, and this is three by five. All these measurements will be in Tuesday's newsletter. And then we've got um, a panel that's going to go across here. And this has already uh, embossed it with that embossing folder. So we've got that. And then instead of using the words from the um, stamp set, which I could have used if I wanted, um, if I wanted, because I'm, I'm wanting a long one, but I really wanted to get a get well one. So I am going to use Speedy Recovery from Sweetly Scripted. It's just going to go along here beautifully. And so we're going to do that. And what we're going to do, we are going to go with different colored snowflakes today, and they're going to be glitzy and sparkly. So we are using the In Color Glimmer paper. Let me just bring that in here. So I've only got scraps left, just little bits and pieces, but these are the colors that we're going to use. And we're going to cut one more out as we go. 
Now you can um, always put an adhesive sheet underneath uh, and that is because it's an intricate die but I chose just to just to go with this and use my green glue so my multi-purpose glue so it's whatever you want to do if you do use the adhesive sheet I would go forward and back so there we go we've got it like that and the glimmer paper is slightly thicker so that's why I went forward and back. Hi, Sue. So glad to have you here tonight. Excellent. Now, when an intricate die is stuck in, uh, or intricate cutting is stuck in a die, I like to use the die brush that you can get to put on your take your pick tool. I have one just like this, and, I, and it comes with this little sponge. And so you just rest it there and go like this. I keep it in a container. Some people use a little cake pan or a little box just to catch all the scraps. And there it comes out nice and clean and the die is nice and clean too. So there, there's the little tip if you have trouble getting um, dies out of intricate ones. There you go, just like that. And if there was lots of lint on my plates, I would use a lint roller and tape to get them off. Okie dokie, so we've got this and I've cut out a bunch more here and what we're going to do is we're going to scatter them here. So let, let's just, we've got some, let's go with this. So I stuck with Pretty in Pink, Summer Splash, Petunia Pop and just those three. I'll show you another one I'm going to overlap just I'm figuring out my placement here doesn't that just look like so much fun already ah, yes so I'm going to well why don't we glue those down right now so I'll bring in my silicone mat in case things get a little little sticky and I'm just going to now that I know what's happening And uh, you can use right from here, but I have this little fine tip on my little glue holder and I'm not going to put glue everywhere. I'm just going to put um, where it's a little bit thicker in a few spots. And I'm likely being a little more generous with the num number of spots just because this is embossed. So it's raised up a little bit. And this glue also is wonderful because even when it dries, it's sticky. So you can let this dry. In fact, it works well if you let it partially dry. It doesn't ooze as much and it's less messy. There's a, but I'm never patient enough to do that. But just little dabs. There we go. Just like that. So Sue, we were talking before you came on whether we are someone who enjoys a good nap or not. Do, are you someone who likes a nap or are you someone who doesn't like a nap? I'm putting you on the spot, aren't I? You don't have to answer that if you don't want to. <laughs> Sue was telling me about a place here in Spruce Grove called the Dutch Oven. Uh, and we were just, we've been meaning to go there and order something. It's a takeout place. Um, but we always forget about it, and so we're going to have to give it a try. So there, there we have it. Alrighty, so now what we're going to do is we're going to put this here, and here's your first question. Do, should I stamp? Speedy Recovery in Pretty in Pink or Summer Splash? Which one? Pretty in Pink or Summer Splash? You're not a napper either, Sue? Oh, there are a few of us that aren't nappers. My husband just thrives on them. Pretty in Pink or Summer Splash to, to stamp the words with? Pretty in Pink or Summer Splash? 
Summer Splash. Okay, we will go with that one. So here we have Summer Splash. And we have the words, Speedy Recovery. And because it's so long, I'm going to ink it up on this side here. And I'm not pressing hard. I just re-inked my ink pad so I know it's juicy. So I'm just lightly kissing it so I don't get any edges. And I'm going to stamp first. Then if I mess it up, I can always flip the paper over, right? So I'm going to run this along the bottom. Hope I get it straight. There we go. Just like that. And then this is going to go on here like that. Now, when I first designed this card, I put this on here. So, you know, I ha I'm a little partial to white on white. But when I, when I did my first sample, I'll show you, I forgot that I had stamped something on the back. And then when I opened the card, there was all this messy stamping here. So then I added some layers. So here is the question for you. Should I add a background layer here? So just say yes or no. Should I add a background layer here? I'll just put that there. Yes or no? Or should I keep it white? Yes. Okay, here's the next question. Should I add a layer behind the snowflakes as well? Ooh, I think I know the answer. Should I add a layer behind the snowflakes as well? I think I like that. What do you guys think? While you're answering that, I'm going to put these two together. Yes. Okay, we are going for it. So we've got this going on the summer splash. Now I chose to make my summer splash just an eighth of an inch bigger, but you could use a quarter of an inch if you don't like those little measurements. There we go, just like that. We're going to stick this one down. So I've been working on my, well actually I'm finished my um, one of a kind class. So I, this, this was one of the extra projects and I, I just kept making, I didn't want to stop playing with this bundle once, uh, once I got going. So now I'm going to glue this down flat, but you could definitely put this up on dimensionals if you wanted. Well, now that I'm thinking about it, why don't I? My other one that I'm going to show you doesn't have the dimensionals. So then you'll be able to tell which you like. Nothing like changing my mind as we're in the middle of a video, right? Okay, we've got it like that. I like it better like that. One nice thing when you've got all the pieces, you can, you can play around with changing positions. I like that a lot. Now we're going to put it on here and what we're going to do is center it as if it's so that it has equal border all the way around. But when you open it up, it's going to look like like that. All right. Before we do that, I should stamp the inside. So let me just get the stamp here and we're going to bring in Summer Splash again. So this is the big bigger stamp and I'm going to want it nice and light so I'm going to stamp it off a little experiment so here's first second third Ooh, I think I like third one two 
and then I'm going to put one here. And the reason I want it so light is so that I can stamp my words over top and this is just softly in the background. So there we go like that. We'll close this up so now I can use full strength for the words and it will be all good. There we go. So this is now going to fasten onto here. So I'm going to put adhesive down this edge here and then I'm going to come and put it here because I don't want to glue my card closed. Uh, <laughs> you wouldn't have thought to use a snowflake for speedy recovery. Well, do you, <laughs> thanks, Rhonda. I, do you know what? It was once I saw the sparkle. I thought snowflakes don't have to just be, you know, white or whatever. They can be sparkle and lots of fun and that kind of thing. And these in colors um, are, are just super like that. And I forgot to get the embellishments. So one minute here. Because these are the in colors, we have the in color embellishments as well. So you could do this with metallics. You could do this with anything you wanted. I think I am just going to maybe use, uh, maybe, Oh, there we go. I'm just going to use one. I could scatter them all because they would all match. Love how Stampin' Up! does all that matchy-matchy stuff. But um, we're going to leave it just like that and then stamp the words. So let me show you my first one that ended up with a background because there was a mess on the back so this used all five of the in colors and it was a happy birthday and this is what i mean by having it light and then stamping the words over top um you like that suit so, yeah, i really like that look too so um stamped it off lots and there we go so it's just like that now like i said i have been having a ton of fun with these snowflakes but just before i um show you some other samples. I just want to mention a couple of things. Um, I was wondering, and I haven't had a chance to play yet, but what if we made snowflakes out of some, say this paper here, and then put it on black paper or night of navy paper. So I think we could do that kind of thing too, and it would be a rich and elegant look. So it would be totally change the look. You can also do snowflakes out of designer paper. So these ones here, they're actually cut from designer paper so they have that that interest to them I like that so you can cut them out of pretty much anything you can also cut them out of foil so this was the other card I almost made with you tonight so cut them out of foil just like this and these are very simple and elegant cards they they really just this is my kind of card, I think, too. I don't know. But I, I like how happy this card is. They're just different looks. And speaking of foil, tomorrow, or one minute after midnight tonight, there are new online exclusives being released. And there are going to be some new foil papers that I'm so excited about. They are um, silver and gold uh, textured or brushed silver and gold brushed um, foil specialty papers and I think they would look gorgeous on this here too. So if you're wanting to, I've got some more samples but I'm just going to show you. If you're wanting to find the online exclusives tomorrow, um, remember you can go to my website right here or you can do that and then when you get there look for the three lines tap the three lines and then you will see here online exclusives and you can click on that there will also be a couple of new kits so you can click on that too so those that's where you're going to find a bunch of new stuff tomorrow and it is wonderful stuff so just sharing that and now i'm going to share a few more ideas here 
So one of the things that people wanted to know how to do was how to make this little box and the tags that go in it. And so for my class, that's one of the things that I taught them in the class. So here's the little box and here's, here's a tag in here. And here's another little box with silver this time and a bunch of tags in here. So the tags, we decided to do the to and from on the inside like that. Um, just like that. You love navy for Christmas cards, so oh, so do I. I. I tend to drift that way, but it's it's amazing this year. I'm leaning. I've done a lot of Blackberry Bliss stuff. I don't know. Don't know why. It's kind of caught my fancy this year. So um, speaking of Blackberry Bliss, here is another card here where we colored the ribbon with blends, and you can see the snowflakes in the the background there. Um, you can do little three by three cards. So you start with a three by six piece of paper. And then I use the solid just to, in a pool party and layered then the die cut piece on top. And you can see I'm using those little loose snowflakes there, which I did there as well. This is one that I cased from Angela, uh, somebody in, in the South Pacific, Angela Mertz. But uh, look at all the snowflakes just done in a wreath. I just, I love that one too. As you can see, I got a little carried away. Uh, one of the cards that we're doing in the class is this little, uh, you can squish it down so it's nice and flat for mailing, but yet it pops up. So I'm showing that technique and it uses the Regal Winter. So it shows two sides of the designer paper. And here's another one and where I just use a portion of the words. So this is just for you. So it's not Christmas necessarily, that one. And um, let me just see here. Oh, here I made a shaker card with them. Am I making you dizzy now? It, it's just fun to have that in there. So if you would like me to do a shaker card in a Facebook Live, I can certainly do that. So let me know if you want me to do shaker cards. The other thing is, is I cut out this shape and then the words can go on that. So you could incorporate that into um, a class too. And the words are just fun. So that... So many ideas, so little time. I know, Karen, that's exactly what happened to me. But I have one more idea I want to share with you. Um, I took this shape and I cut out three from designer paper and then I folded them in half. So I've got them all folded in half and glued them together. And um, so they're 3D. So they could go on a, let's flip this over on a card or a package and I could put like a little ornament kind of thing there. Anyway, that's what I was playing around with. So you can see my brain went into overdrive. I think I was in crafting withdrawal after our holidays and I just went a little crazy. But here's my question for tonight. Do you prefer the happy birthday one in Petunia Pop or the summer splash one? Um, the speedy recovery one. All right. Oh, um, was that something else I was supposed to tell you? Um, oh, if you would like to sign up for the one of a kind uh, class, I will put the link after I'm finished. The deadline, if you want the kit, is tonight. Um, the PDF will, and video tutorial will be available longer. And of course, that's available worldwide. The kit is only available in Canada. So uh, there's that. And I also wanted to give a big thank you to all of you who participated in making a difference with the kits for Santa's Anonymous. We, even though I was late uh, taking part because I had been away, we managed to get five even from that short little period of time. So you guys are the best. Thank you so, so much. All right. I hope that's given you some ideas for the snowflakes in your lives and the fact that they don't always have to be white All right, or cold, I guess you could say. Take care, everybody, and bye-bye.